Howdy folks, Bombardment is back today. We're playing, as the name suggests, Arcane Bombardment and Frexia all will be one standard, built around the six man enchantment itself, Arcane Bombardment. Basically, when you cast the first instant or sorcery spell each turn, you exile instant or sorcery spell from your graveyard at random. Then you copy it with Arcane Bombardment, and you can do this over and over every turn, every turn. So, best way to take advantage of this is one instant speed spell. So you can do it on your turn, you can do it on your opponent's turn. Well, we have those. We have big score, thrill possibility, lightning strike, shield, just easier, go for the throat. Lots of uh, instant speed spells. Second way to take advantage of it, have really, really powerful spells. They, they're really, they're even better when they get copied. Invoke Despair, probably the number one of this bunch. Just when you copy it, it's really good by itself. It is, it's the, the backbone of a lot of black decks in this format. And when you copy it, it's absurd. Corrupt is, I think, a really good way to uh, have sort of a a way to end the game with with this deck um as you'll notice we have almost all swamps we only have seven lands that aren't swamps we have the 10 traditional swamps four of the or each of the uh tri lands that that uh that count as swamps and that way your corrupts do a certain amount of damage and when they're copied with our capable barb and you're getting them every turn i mean that's just it's free value brotherhood's end is a card that uh you when you when you copy it at least you, know, you can have, go from a three damage sweeper to a six damage sweeper so you can wipe uh, big boards that way. Burn down the house. You can similar thing. You can copy a deal ten damage or you can just make a bunch of devils, which is really cool. Uh, sort of uh, is a win condition in itself there as well. Big score and thrill possibilities don't require you to play the additional cost to cast the spell. So you just draw two cards every time and in big scores in case make some treasures. That's the plan. The deck uh, just. Get a whole bunch into the sorceries in the yard, cast your arcane bombardment, trigger it as fast as you can, win the game. That's the plan. Let's see if it works. Alrighty, opponent is going first. But if we draw land to get to the stable, we'll be in business. Drop a hello. Drop the Sanders Lounge. Swamp. Well, they dropped a hello back. How nice of you, Mize. Is that a Thalia? That's incredibly rude. We literally might not cast a spell this game. Uh, we need to draw land ASAP. Oh, right on time. Pass the turn. Screlv, yeah. Attempt to kill Thalia now before the Screlv really gets going. All right, well, we're doing a good job of drawing lands. That is very important. Fable time. Get to a point where these corrupts might actually be good. Oh, what? Okay. Legends deck that you can just cast anything, I guess? <laughs> I don't know what's going on, to be honest. Have another Thalia? Shauna. Okay, that one's pretty good. Discard cards. Man, the hand's pretty good, to be honest. I'm going to submit zero, actually. Go for the throat to Shauna. Attack with my 2 2. Pass the turn. I have this thrill of possibilities that I can get rid of something if I really feel like I need to. If not, I can just start go for the throating and corrupting things. Joda, yes. And I imagine this means they're going to cast a legendary spell. Hajar. Okay, so I think we need to let this resolve first. That's fine. And another scroll. See, there we go. That's fine. They can cast the scroll. They are going to. And this gives us a window to kill the Joda. So we'll take that window here. Do we want to get rid of this thrill of possibility or the corrupt for this? I don't think so. Ooh, invoke despair. Yeah, that's not a bad hit. They want to keep the scroll around. They got to get rid of this ajar. Okay, they do value the scroll. That's fine. We lost past the turn. I 
Ganja, okay. 3-3 three, three coming in, yep. No worries here. Do that all day. What's your next big play? Nothing. So you have this burn down the house. We also have this corrupt. Go blue. Target this 2-2. Two, two. Just doing it like this, just in case they happen to have something that's a good way to kill Urtai. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Play the Xander's Lounge. Pass the turn. So we can burn down the house if we want. We can also shelter Zijek this turn if we want. Oh, okay. Probably means we're going to be burning this house down. Yep, if that's the case, we'll just take our lumps and damage here. Go to my turn. Get as much damage as we can in here. Get some treasures. Get some damage in and then burn down the house. Get rid of all this stuff going on. Oh, could they have sacked the Hajar? Did I just misplay? Wow. I just misplayed. And they didn't sack the Hajar. Doesn't matter, apparently. <laughs> okay, make them sacrifice a creature. They are really putting the work in on me, though. Gonna get rid of the scrub. Okay. Now if they they miss for one turn, we'll probably be in a good spot. See if we can get them to miss for one turn. There we go. That was good. That was good. I think our opponent just completely am I am I reading this wrong with the Hajar that they just didn't use it? It would have been really good against that. Uh that burned down the house. I think we got extremely lucky not to be dead there, to be honest. We wouldn't have been exactly dead because uh, we would have still had the Shelter's Edict, but it would not have been great. Alright, so this is five, six swamps. That's not lethal yet, so I think we should just use this Invoke Despair. Doesn't give the Hajar Hexproof and Indestructible. Sorry. I mean, it does, but it doesn't do anything if you do that. Alright, and we'll pass the turn. Land a big score, get some treasure. Cast the crap. All right, well, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Uh, not not ideally played from us, certainly, but uh, it's a win to win. A win's a win. <laughs> GG's. All right, our opponent's captain. This hand is not looking good, so we'll mulligan. Okay, this hand's looking better. I think we can get rid of one of these thrills. First spell is going to be this Fable on turn three, but maybe that's enough. Who knows? The Stun of Plains could be Soldiers, it could be Mono White. Bankbuster stuff, yeah, okay. Looks like our first spell is going to be this Fable. We're going to need an Arcane Bombardment to really shine in this matchup, I think. Opponent's just probably going to sit back and draw their Bank Buster. Makes sense. Oh, 
Or they're gonna contemplate drawing a Bing Buster now if they're low on lands. Not sure. Deck doesn't usually play a lot of instant speed stuff at two mana, so I feel like if they're questioning whether or not to just draw here for the land, I think they should. Okay, they had the land, they just were AFK or something. The restoration. Sure. Fable time. Discard a planes and get it back for the ramp. That's what I man is gonna happen. If they have the bank buster, they probably have you know more than enough lands. Question is, are they gonna have an ability to get rid of our 2-2? Well they have an ability to just get rid of our fable, okay. Pretty good. Yep, we're gonna swing in here. They're gonna block the Lauren, yep. It's all fine and dandy. Pass the turn, keep this big score up. Probably discard the uh, Lightning Strike, doesn't seem great here. Rafine's Tower, okay. What would they want the splash for? Interesting. Kayla's Command. Wanted more land. Are they going to attack with a Bing Buster? Are they going to draw? Alright. We're going to... This card of Lightning Strike doesn't seem too good right here. Get some treasure. Hopefully find a Bombardment. Invoke Despair wouldn't be bad. Go to my turn. Haunted Ridge. Yeah, I think we're gonna play the Lounge this turn. There's just no... No really reason for us to play the Ridge this turn. I don't think we're gonna use all our mana. The most I see us using four mana here. I don't see us using a Lightning Strike and a Go for the Throw and a Thrill, so I, yeah. Plan here is to just draw with the Thrill. Discard the lightning strike, have a go for the throat up if anything really crazy goes on. Potentially burn down the house next turn. It's going to definitely need to find a bombardment for us to have a chance, and then they're going to have to not have a Lauren after we drop the bombardment. We're going to have to try to get immediately immediate value off of it. So we will see. They just play out a bunch of creatures. This burn down the house might help. I'm really still not sure what this means tower is for. Obviously, it is. It could just be a, you're only playing it as a land to cycle. It also happens to be a plane for your lay down arms, which are almost certainly in their deck. Interesting here. Opponent, opponent in the tank. All right, opponent's going to attackers. Yep. That's fine, I don't really... Not envisioning killing this architect right now. There's a bombardment. Okay, you can count me in on that. So if I play a bombardment this turn, I have two treasures left over. And in my yard, I have a bunch of good hits. Yeah, that's the plan. Force him to have a lore in this turn. Pass the turn. Do they have a lore in? Don't know if they play the full four. They've already used one. They're gonna try to find it with the bank buster. We have a go for the throat in response. They do kill it. Wandering Emperor, sure. Maybe they're going to just try to turn the jets on and kill us. Samurai, yep. I think we are going to kill this architect. No, they're looking out of my bombardment. Don't do that. That's rude. Okay, 1-1 one, one coming out. They're really looking for a card. They're Lauren to kill this bombardment. 
Hopefully they don't find it. Counter in the 2-2, yep. Pass to attackers. I will kill this architect then. Exile something with a bombardment, see what it is. Big score. I would love to cast big score. Oh, you do have to cast the the this the my bad. In the intro I said you didn't have to you didn't have to pay the additional cost. You definitely do. I don't know why I was thinking otherwise. Got our treasure though. Now we have an edict that we could cast, but it doesn't seem that good. Burn down the house is the plan for next turn. Okay, hopefully we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mono White here. Need them to avoid Aloran. Yes, all the way to damage. Thank you. Can you pass the turn? I would find that lovely. Farewell. Come on. That's no fun. Boo. Okay, got to find another bombardment now. Wow. Well, bombardment doesn't do us that much good right now since it's nothing in the yard, so I think the plan is just to sweep the board this turn. Pass. Bombardment next turn, and now we know we're going to get a burn down the house. Which is pretty cool. So they have Farewells and Lauren. Okay. Archangel of Wrath. I, I like me some Archangel of Wrath. Double kicker. That's what these are for. Okay. Yep. Yep. Come in with those. Yeah, I think we just have to take our damage right now. Okay. Get a bombardment going. And I think we just want to kill this Archangel of Wrath right now. Exile this. Burn down the house. Make some devils. Attack with two devils. Keep one back from the bank buster. Pass the turn. Hope they don't have another... Another farewell or anything like that. Another lore, another farewell. If they didn't have that, I'd be pretty happy. Nothing. Okay. Well, we feel pretty good about that. I think we're just going to go ahead and... Cast this big score right now. Discarding Fable, I guess? Just want to get the burn down the house rolling. Decline to cast to go for the throw. That's fine. Invoke despair. Yeah, that one's pretty good. I can still have the sheltered edict up. So yeah, target our opponent here. Get busy here. Pass the turn. Have the thrill of possibility. Go for the throat edict. Didn't have anything at the end of that turn. Okay, they needed to draw a farewell. Cityscape leveler. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, Guess we'll cast this thrill of possibilities in response. Get rid of this swamp. See, if we hit this Invoke Despair, that would be gigantic if we did. Did not. Okay, so I think first thing we're going to do is cast this big score. This card, let's go for the throat. Cast the Burn Down the House with the Devils and not cast this. this. Okay, so it resolves in reverse order. Okay. Okay. 
Yep, bombardment down. But we have a lot of creatures here. Go to my turn. Get another bombardment down. Make them sacrifice. That is trample. So I think we want, we want, we want to make them sacrifice a non-token creature on their attack step. Easy plan. So in the meantime, I think we want to just cast a big score. Just in case we do hit this invoke despair right now. Discard this fable. All right, what do we hit? What do we hit? Go for the throat's not great, so we're really hoping for Invoked Spare. Invoked Spare is probably lethal. This big score is going to give us some more treasures so we can cast a Shelter's Edict on their turn, on their attack step, hopefully. This opponent giving us the old rope. Come on, you're playing a mono white control. I don't know if <laughs> don't know if you should be on the rope side of things here. Alright, no, we do get it. You have the thrill of possibility that I think we will cast through this haunted ridge. Draw some cards. All lands. Yikes, okay. Get in here. They are going to block, okay. Alrighty, well, we're dead to pre-combat creature here, but not a lot we could do about that. Hmm. Does it matter if they kill us Arcane Bombardment? I think we're just going to do this now. Sacrifice a non-token creature. Pay the mana. See what we can exile here. If it's Invoke Despair, it's GG's. Big score. Okay, big score. Discard Swamp. Build a possibility. Discard Swamp. Or Proving Grounds, probably. Do we get anything good? Why are the Shelter's Edicts in the deck? There's, there are decks that have artifacts that you don't want to mess with, and we had all go for the throats, but you kind of be SOL. Brotherhood's End, sure. More Brotherhood's End, yikes. Sacrifice Sheer Leveler. Yep, that's fine too. You're going to take a lethal from the 1-1s. One Since we're at 5, you can't exactly get there. Wow. That, that was an insanely close game, but we came out on top. GG's. All right, we're going first, and we have some lands, so we'll keep lands and swamps, or spells and swamps is what we got. Yep, I think we definitely want to keep open the possibility of casting this Fable next turn. I'm sure there's something we could kill, but Fable seems more important to us, like Underdog. Yeah, sure, whatever. We could kill it, but I'd much rather get this Fable going. Gonna kill my 2-2. Thinking about it. Soul transfer the 2-2. Okay. I did not have that on my list of possibilities. I uh, gotta keep this burn down the house since it's... Basically what we're doing here. I think. Yeah, lightning strike can go. Pass the turn. Only the possibility to cast one spell this turn, but 
I don't think we necessarily need two. If they have a shelter, we have the go for the throat for it. Or well, honestly, we could just burn down this house. So I think we'll probably do. No, because this will flip. Yeah, they'll just kill us now. Save the burn for down the house for a more dire situation. With the fable. Fable can f just block here, which is something. I guess is our opponent with point of removal spell at it, but you never know. Another sheltered. Okay. Well, I think we're going to discard and draw in response. Two swamps. Not ideal. Yep, we'll go ahead and block. I think we'll hit them with the sacrifice and non-token creature. And we'll hope to draw in bombardment or something. There we go. Alrighty. Now the goal is for them not to have invoke despair. Can we avoid the invoke despair? Okay, underdog, yep. We did inv uh, avoid the Invoke Despair, that's something. Alright, let's try this burn down the house. So we exile, go for the throat. Okay, I can't cast that right now. Yep, just going in like this. Alrighty, now we're just looking to draw spells. We have the go for the throat locked down, which is pretty nice. We want to draw spells and avoid our opponent drawing Invoke Despair. Any spell lets us kill Sheldred, so I don't... Brotherhood's End, okay. Well, not, not, not the world's best Brotherhood's End, but... Doing what we're doing here. Alright, go for the throat here. Lightning Strike here. Gonna keep the swamp in hand in case we draw a big score or anything like that. Another underdog, sure. Anything else? And an underdog, okay. Okay, plan to block. Damage at your face. Draws your card. All right, let's draw a spell. Thrill of Possibility. That's a good spell. Discard the swamp. That's why we kept it in hand. Alrighty. Um, cast the Go for the Throat. The Underdog. Lightning Strike on their face. Don't have another thing for the Thrill, but that's all right. Big score. For their turn. Definitely want to deal at least one to them. We can big score in there. Actually, I should have. Yeah, I threw. I should attack with both. I should have done both so I can. Could have gotten the lightning strike going. Soren, yep. They have to minus with a Soren. We have the lightning strike, though. If they... Okay. Well, we're very glad they didn't have an Evoke to spare this game. Because we would have lost if they did. Underdog in response. Very in response to the Underdog. Cast a big score. Cast a lightning strike. Your face, go for the throw, two, three. Brotherhood's end, each creature planeswalker. I have lots of lethal going on here. Alrighty. Well, we got there. They needed our opponent not to draw and vote to spare. Seems like our opponents literally always have it, but they didn't have it this time. And we're taking that dub to the bank. To G's. Okay, opponent goes first, and this might be the greediest keep, but uh, 
It's in our wheelhouse. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're about to be absolutely punished for this keep. But, you know, that's how the game goes. Sometimes you line up Arcane upon Barbman against Mono Red. And you never face Mono Red in the matches where you're looking to face it. Okay, well. That's a lot of Swift Spearing. And... We're basically going to look for a Brotherhood's End. And that, that's going to be our, our game. Do you get... Come on, okay. I mean, we're going to take just an absurd amount of damage this turn. I mean, that's already just... That's evident. Do you have another creature instead of another spell? They do have another spell. They just wanted to avoid a cut down or anything. Yep, okay. This is... Uh, this is gross. <laughs> Tapland's not going to get us there. All right, Brother Huzen, come on. Well, sometimes this happens to you. Uh, we're not technically dead, but they kept something on top, so uh, we're going to say we're dead. I just can't believe I, I looked to play mono red like two days in a row with my sacred fire deck and then previously with the life gain deck and I can't find it but when I line up with the thrill of possibilities deck deck that thrill of possibility arcane bargain deck which a deck that's just not really built to beat them uh this is what happens <laughs> I guess I guess that's what happens already well that's ggs all right opponent goes first and we're a little light on lands, but hopefully we get there. Swamp. What do they have? A, like a Reckon Raid or something? Vol Sleeper, okay. Untapped land next turn would be good. They have the Underdog, they have the complete aggro starter, and just the Sleeper. Probably just the Sleeper. Okay, they're gonna pump. Untap land is good. Pass the turn. Just go for the throw it up. See if they want to just attack with a sleeper or what they plan to do. If they just pump the sleeper, we might play the thrill. See what they do. Coming to three three, sure. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll kill it. That's fine. Gave us a chance to draw potentially Fable this turn. Instead of locking us into using our mana this turn on the go for the throat by thrilling last turn. Definitely uh, are going to need to get something for this first potential Sheldred. And our deck does not do great against Frexian Obliterator. You have to hope to avoid that too. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Burn down the house is not good against the obliterator. Shh. Guess we'll, we'll get rid of it then. Lightning strike's also not good against the obliterator. We'll see what else they have. Yep, obliterator is gonna get in. What it does. We're gonna big score. Get rid of this th lightning strike. Maybe hit a arcane bombardment. Go for the throat's good. Yeah, just pass the turn. Opponent did not use their mana that turn. Interesting. They just have all corrupts in hand. Liliana, okay. 
That's fine. Pick up and discard. We're fine with that. Corrupt's not looking good. We have two swamps. I've got to kill the obliterator with a go for the throat. I think we're going to thrill, discard, thrill. Two swamps, okay. Go to my turn. Play a proving ground. Three one ones coming in. One looks like they have some removal spells, but not great against three little one ones. And they tick down on the Liliana in a way. They they hit the Liliana with their one oneness anyway. Next turn we'll have four swamps, which is something. Move spell just doesn't do anything here, though. I mean, like, prevents us from killing the Liliana, I guess? I mean, I don't know. Cut down is just not great here. They have another cut down? Sure, I guess. They're gonna play basically anything here. They really want to take up this Liliana. Yep. I think we'll get rid of the swamp, actually. I'm tired of your secrets. Could corrupt onto Liliana. Yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. Not ideal place to be, but that's what we're doing. I probably should have played this first, but I think it actually is better to play the Xander's Lounge. We can just discover whatever else we draw to the big score next turn. I know if it's really good, we'll probably regret it, but if it's really good, we'll probably just cast it, so... All right, one one coming in. All right, looking to find an arcane bombardment. That's that's the plan. They're in our deck. Let's try to find them. Removal spells for them aren't great right now. If they had invokes, they'd be snapping it off. Okay, sheltered incoming. Getting this big score going. Swamp invoke. Okay, invoke's good. Yep. Go ahead and kill their sheltered here. Let's see what we draw. I'm pretty scared of corrupts from our opponent. We already have two in the yards. We don't really have any ways to gain life right now. Talk of the one one. And we have an abundance of mana, so we're pretty fine sacking a treasure for a big score. Looks like they're going to pass. Okay, big score for us. Really looking for this bombardment. Be very thrilled to find one and a spell to play with it. Edict. Okay. Lightning Strike. I think we're just going to hold lands at this point. Doesn't seem to me to be any point to not hold them. Pass the turn. Opponent did nothing that turn. I mean, they just have all swamps in hand. We have Edicts against any Obliterators. Flesh Gorger. Okay. Okay, we'll have you sacrifice a non-token creature. 
Go to my turn. Burn down the house. I mean, I guess this is the new plan. Burn our opponent out. Not flashy, but two turn clock once it turns back to us. Got this lightning strike in hand. Okay, they pass. Proving Grounds is a cycle land. I think we'll just try to get our damage in here first. Attempt to cycle with the Proving Grounds. Fable, huh? Yep, we'll play the Fable. Give us a reason to have kept the Swamp so we can discard them. Now if they sweep the board, these 1-1s one come in at them. We're in a pretty good spot here. I'm wondering what it could be that could kill us here. Not sure, not sure. Okay, they do have removal. They just they just have had a lot of removal against our burn down the house tokens, which haven't done hasn't done much for them. Slowly, slowly killing them. A really big flesh gorger again would be pretty good. Go for the throat, and that's GG's. Hit him with the lightning strike for lethal. Don't even waste anybody's time. Alright, well, I guess you could win games when you don't find the namesake card, but it, it's tough. It's definitely tough to win those games. GG's. Let's go to the wrap-up. And here with the wrap-up for Arcane Bombardment. And, yeah, I just can't can't talk about how much I love playing this deck. Uh, I just... Arcane Bombardment... Whew, I love that card so much. <laughs> a lot needs to go right. A lot, a lot needs to go right for you to keep an Arcane Bombardment on the battlefield. I understand that. But when it does stay on the battlefield and you get to do your thing, you just feel so powerful. You feel like the world is at your fingertips. You can conquer anything. You can beat anyone. No obstacle. Nobody can get in your way. Just, oh, you can feel that power coursing through your veins. It feels so nice. Um, <laughs> it's really fun. I, can't, I mean, I don't know. But this is a deck that uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with. And you're going to have some some times where you, you match up against your opponent and you just can't win. This deck can never beat Mono Blue. We didn't play it, but you can never beat Mono Blue. This deck is going to have a really hard time against Thalia. It's possible to beat it, but you're going to have a hard time. And you're probably going to have a hard time against decks that can religiously remove enchantments. Decks that only really have one way to remove enchantments... You have a chance to beat. You can fight through that. So, like, uh, Mono White has a few ways to remove enchantments, Farewells, and Lorens. Those aren't both four ofs, though. There are three ofs and two ofs, maybe. So, they have, like, five total cards to give you a bombardment. Definitely, it's possible for you to resolve a bombardment and uh, get enough value off of it on the turn you play and on their turn. Um, so, that way, you can chain your next bombardment and kind of get ahead of them that way. Um, it's definitely a possibility. The... Uh, the other decks that that can oh the what was the other deck I was talking about oh yeah the invoke despair mono black um is a deck that can remove it but it's really it that's really invoke despair you're drawing your arcane bombardments versus their invoke despairs and if you know if you you can line up good against that you can line up poorly against that <laughs> it's a coin flip there so I'm not I'm not gonna try to BS you all and say this deck is gonna be really good in the meta for you uh really it's highly matchup dependent it, it's the good news is the the rest of the cards are strong you can just beat your opponent with a fable with go for the throats with invoke despairs with corrupts it's possible to beat your opponent that way not ideal but definitely possible um and I, and there are a few things that maybe you could change about this deck to to make it even better the first thing is maybe there's a way to not play any haunted ridge you could take out the haunted ridge and play i think it's called geothermal bog that would give you 12 tap lands which i personally think is too much in standard uh right now but it's possible um and that way you could only really have the three mountains that would not uh not 
allow you to corrupt and get the swamp bonus this deck actually you really should be playing a Sokenzin. if you're playing the first mountain you should be playing Sokenzin over the first mountain every time in this deck so that's on me uh i should have included in this deck but that's all right um the uh the other things you could potentially change is you could you could change the thrill possibilities out for uh man the name of the card escapes me but it's the one where you can deal three cathartic pirates what it's called you can deal three damage to a creature or you can discard up to two cards and draw that many cards it's not as good as three thrill of possibility when being countered uh or just in general as a card filtering spell so that's why you play thrill of possibility but if you really 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 are losing aggro you can put that in um or you can just up the numbers of brotherhood's end play some cut downs you can obviously tweak the numbers of go for the throats and like uh just standard two mana never kill anything removal spell infernal grasps the things you definitely need in this deck though four big score four arcane bombardment some number of burn down the house some number of invoke despair and i really think the top end of corrupt to kill your opponent is a really good idea even though it kind of looked bad at times in this deck i feel like we drew like an absurd amount of haunted ridges and mountains during this recording session that i had here um but I, I swear it's it, you're not going to hit that many in general. I mean, you have 18 swamps, seven non-swamps. That works out to, what, are like two-thirds? More or less. A little over two-thirds of the lands in your deck are swamps. Almost three-fourths, maybe. I don't know. So I feel like you're in a good spot uh, to be having corrupts for five, corrupts for six, uh... Off your arcane bombardments, you know, when on turn six, turn seven, turn eight, um, kind of deal. But um, we cast a corrupt for like three against mono black. It was ugly. But I, I, if you really wanted to cure that problem, you could take out the Honda Ridge and put it in the geothermal box, and you'd really, I mean, then you'd be casting corrupts with a lot more power and force. Maybe that's the direction you want to go with this deck. But uh, very fun. If you like arcane bombardment, you'll like this deck. You'll win about half the time at Platinum rank if you play well. Very easy to lose if you play poorly. Um, that's that with the deck. If you like this deck, you probably like the last standard deck. It's on your screen right now. And until next time, wherever you are, whenever you are, have a magical day.